Welcome back to U.S. Farm Report. Trusted, timely, tradition. Welcome back. We're here from Top Producer Summit in Nashville, Tennessee. We'll travel to Belzoni, Mississippi, and you'll find a farm with quite the story. Silent Shade Planting Company has roots states away, but the journey to Mississippi is one that always had a focus on family, and it's the next generation helping write the next chapter for their farm. This weekend, Clinton Griffiths shares the story of Silent Shade Planting Company, who joins quite an impressive group of top producers of the year. To tell the story of Silent Shade Planting Company, you have to start a generation earlier with Willard Jack's journey in 1979 from Canada to Mississippi. We are looking for the ability to put together a larger operation. The newly married farmer stumbled across this, less expensive land with room for growth. Willard and his wife met the challenge head on. As the operation grew, so did the family. But an unexpected obstacle resulted in a course change that put son Jeremy on a new path. He thought he wanted to work in D.C. and he worked there for a while and about the time he'd been up there a little while, I was diagnosed with cancer. And his mother said, well son, you got two choices. You can stay in D.C., we're going to sell this if your father gets any sicker, or you can come back home to run it. And he said, well, you know, I'm not sure I really like this that well up there. I think I'll come home. And within five years, Jeremy took over the day-to-day -day operations of Silent Shade. Today, they farm across more than 11,000 acres in the Mississippi Delta. He basically runs it every day. He comes and starts crew out, and he runs the operation. His sister is CFO, and she looks after all that part of the business. His wife has her responsibility. My wife has her responsibilities. We've got a lot of different things going on every day, and I think that's the diversity of our operation, being cotton, corn, soybeans, rice. So there's always something going on, and the only way to keep everybody on the same page is to over-communicate as much as we can. From a variety of crops that require irrigation to aerial fertilizer applications, even moving dirt and managing their own trucking company, the management piece of Silent Shade is the key. The work is done together, line by line, plan by plan, it's all discussed in the open, and it's not just decisions for today. Farming for the future is rooted in everything this operation does. That goes back to the decisions that we're making today might not be uh, beneficial for our lifetime, but for the future of the generation, it will be. Through the help of technology and a dedicated team of employees, continuous improvement sprouts in every step. For years and years, we've had data flowing in. We didn't know what we could do with it all. We just had bunches of the garbage data. Data that, at the time, didn't benefit the overall goal. Now, that data and subsequent technology is a tool, allowing the farm to hold sway over decisions from anywhere. Now, the great thing is we can have all this good information instantly of what we're looking at, how we're doing it. It's evident just how much Silent Shade has grown. Success that germinates by prioritizing their farm family and how they care for this land. Both of which continue to be some of life's greatest gifts. Congratulations to the Jack family and Silent Shade on being a 2023 finalist for Top Producer of the Year. What a family. I had the chance to meet them this week and they really are salt of the earth. Congratulations to Jeremy and the entire family. But all three finalists really do also have the stories where they turn challenges into opportunities. We'll continue to feature those finalists on the show over the coming weeks. You can also watch and read their stories on agweb.com, but also their stories will be featured just like this. Top producer of the year will be the cover story of Top Producer Magazine coming up over the next year. Well, when we come back, we talk talked a lot about Brazil and South America in our first marketing roundtable discussion this weekend. But what about the trajectory of China and also when it comes to demand? Dan Bossy, Matt Bennett and Sam Taylor rejoin us from Top Producer Summit. That happens in just two minutes. U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by Pioneer. Pioneer combines leading edge R&D with rigorous local testing to create seed innovations proven to thrive in your fields. Pioneer, what's next happens here.